Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the fighters that are on the UFC chopping block. Now, there have been some fighters that have been cut on win streaks, aka Felipe Lenz, four fight win streak. There's been fighters that have been on a huge win, uh, losing streak, haven't been cut. Uh, Augusto Sakai comes to my mind. So, it's, it varies for sure. Now, there is a couple other ones on this list that are, I mean, that are not on this list that are on that list as well. But today, these are the ones that I think are most likely. If they don't win, they're, they're, they're out. They're done. Whether it's retirement, whether it's cut, anything like that. First is Bruno Silva, 23 wins, 10 losses. He's 1 and 4 in his last five. It, <laughs> It's weird because, like I said, he's he's one and four. He's four and four in the UFC, but he's one and four, which means he was three and zero at one point in the UFC. Not good. Two of his losses also are by finish. Jump GM three finished him. Brandon Allen finished him. Um, did look decent against Sharon Magomedov later in the fight, but he just he hasn't been able to put it together in 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 quite some time. You know. Came on the scene, destroyed Wellington Terman, Andrew Sanchez, and Jordan Wright. Even had a good fight with Alex Pereira. In the GM3, he came back too soon against Alex Pereira. I think it was five months ago after the crazy beating of Alex Pereira. And then he fights GM3 and gets knocked down, almost finished, and then submitted. Not great. Not great. But yeah, Bruno Silva, absolutely on this list. At 1-4, 34 years old, be 35 this year. Absolutely on this list. And then next we have Chris Weidman. Obviously, we know Chris Weidman, UFC champion, B.A. Anderson Silva. Been getting a lot of comments. Weidman got a KO Silva. Not this one. Um, also 1-4. One 1-4 in, four. One in, four in his last five fights. One and four means he was ten and three at one point in the UFC. Not bad, not bad. Obviously, you know, beat Tovin Gaslam in the midst of that. Beat Omari Akhmedov. Sure, whatever. That is what it is. There. So he has two wins or three wins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three and seven in his last ten fights. Three and seven. That means he was eight no in the UFC at one point. Not good. Not good. And he obviously he went on the big run, as we all know. You know, he's also going to be forty this year. Isn't the same. He did hurt Brad Tavares, who is a little bit chinny. Did hurt him in the third round. He uh, wobbled him. But he's also lost six times by TKO or KO in the UFC. He only has seven finishes in the UFC. Not good. His only decision loss was Brad Tavares. Not good. Next, we have Chidi and Jaguani versus Reese McKee. Both of these guys are on the choppy block, absolutely for sure. Uh, Chidi Bang Bang uh, and Jaguani is three and two. Three, two and three in the UFC. Won his first two, lost his last three. And the biggest thing with him is is he's 35 years old. He'll be 36 in December, but he'll still be 36 um, on a three-fight losing streak. And three finishes, two finishes, one decision to Albert Duryoff, which I did think he beat him. Um, and Reese McKee has not, he has not gotten a win in the UFC. He's 0 and 3. You know, he just, he hasn't been able to put it together against these top, top guys. Like Hamzat, okay, fine. You get a pass there. You know, okay. Uh, Alex Morono, couldn't do a whole lot. Mm, that's not good. Angel Angelosa, I like Angelosa a lot. But, um, McKee wasn't really able to do anything in there. I think he had his moments late, late in the fight. But, wasn't able to do anything. Again, 0-3. This is his last, both of their last chances. You have to think. Have to think. Next, we have Nate Landworth, 17-5. and 5, 35 years old. He'll be 36 this later this year, three months from now. 
um, on a losing streak right now. As well, four and three in the UFC, been finished two times in the UFC. One of them by my boy Juicy J. Um, like I said, like I said, four and three. Lost against Danny Gay, but it would have been one thing if he went out on his shield. It would have been one thing if he fought like Nate the Train, but he kind of fought hesitant. Not good. And I was fighting Jamal Emmers, which I'm very excited to see how that fight plays out. You know, so. 4-3, 35 years old, be 36 later on. T number 23 in the UFC. He needs to make statements right now. Otherwise, just what are you doing? Next, we got Herbert Burns, 11-4. and four. He is 2-2 uh, two and two in the UFC with 9 finishes, 8 wins by submission. His biggest issue has just been cardio. Um, uh, Bill Algio, I'm pretty sure he hurt his knee in that one again. Um, but uh, Bill Algio lost uh, exhaustion. Yep. Daniel Pineda was finished because he was some, he was tired. It's not good. Like I said, he has two wins. Uh, beat Nate Lanaware. Beat Evan Dunham. You know. Again, being 36 years old, two-fight losing streak. Yeah. He, he's on the chopping block. Unless he goes out there and has an incredible performance and this fight's not even close, then... He's absolutely on the chopping block. If he loses this, he's out. All of these guys will be out if they lose. Next is Dennis Abazuka. I think that's how they said that name. 26 years old. I thought he was older than that. I thought he was older than that. That doesn't seem right, but okay. Two fight losing streak. 11-4, uh, and 0-2 oh in the UFC. And just really bad losses. Really bad losses. Losing to Sean Woodson, losing to Jamal Emmers. Under 50 seconds against Jamal Emmers, which I like Jamal. But under 50 seconds is wild. Sean Woodson, sure, you know, decent fighter. But Dennis Bazooka has not done well in the UFC in, in the slightest bit. Though he is 26 years old, so he could make it back. I thought he was older than that. And the next and last but not least, we have Anton Turkish. I think, that's his, I think that's how you say his last name. Turkish. 27 years old. 0 oh, in 3. Two finishes out of three of his last of his last three fights. He's just bad. He's just bad. It it, it boggles my mind to watch that fight in the contender series, the, the Santos one. To be like, oh yeah, that guy's UFC material. And then you watch him and you're like, no. 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 The Pleasure Man is not a pleasure to watch. Anton Turkish loses this fight. It's a rematch against a guy that he was losing to and then won. Um, Anton Turkish is out of the UFC with this loss, which, thank you. Cringe. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you really think. See you at the next one. Peace.